Hello everyone, today I present you this mechanical calculator, the Kurta. It came in with this nice black box and it can be opened like this. And here we have the Kurta calculator, the smallest fully functional mechanical calculator that has, ne has ever been done. Um, it's very complicated, it's very light. If you compare to other calculators I've shown, the lightest was 3 kilos. This one, I measured it before, is 370 grams. And it's not the smallest one because this is model 2 and there was a model 1, which was even a little bit smaller because it had less digits. So it was even lighter. I don't know exactly how much, I guess around 250 grams. But if you compared it to 3 kilos, which was the lightest of the other ones, I, had, I have calculators which go up to 13 kilos or even 17 kilos. This is very light. Pocket calculator. It was made in Liechtenstein and uh, it's made of 600 different pieces inside. And a nice story about this calculator is a couple of years ago an American wanted to remake it. So he contacted the original company who made it and was able to obtain all the projects, all the plans to build it, and went to some Chinese and Indian companies to ask how much it would cost to make it again. And the uh, interesting thing is that in the end, to rebuild it, it would cost the same or even more than what they cost in the private market today, the used ones, which are quite expensive. They are around a thousand US dollars, a thousand euros. But to remake it, it would cost even more. So the, the American decided not to do it. So how does it work? We have um, here is the input register. I can input the number by moving these sliders. I turn this little crank here and the number appears here. Now, if I add a second number, I turn again and here I have the addition of the 2, 819. If I want to subtract the number, let's say 636, I pull the crank a little bit up, this red line appears, and I turn the other way. Uh, sorry, I turn the same way, but just by pulling this up. And so I have the subtraction of the two numbers. To reset the registers, this one has to be done manually. I pull this little lever out, I lift the top, this moves a little bit, I lift the top and I turn like this. And like this I have reset both registers. Here we have the black register that you see is the output registers. The grey ones, the silver one, is the counter register. So they are both on the top. And let's say if I want to do a multiplication, 654 by 34, I will turn four times, one, two, three, four. I move one position, I turn one position on the top, and I turn another three times, one, two, three. Oops, three. And the result is 25,718. And here on the counter register I have 34, which tells me how many times I have multiplied by. Okay, so to reset it, I lift it, I turn this one. And uh, now if I want to do a division, so I have here this little lever here, which is now set to count the positive turns. So if I turn clockwise once, you see that here I have one. If I turn anti-clockwise, or not anti-clockwise, but with a negative uh, position, I go to zero, and if I turn another time, it will go all nines, because it's zero minus one makes all nines. So, uh, to do divisions where I have to count the negative turns, I push this lever down. Okay, let me reset all the registers. I move it to the leftmost position. To do a division, I insert my number here. I add it once, 987. I have to reset only the counter register. 
so half a turn. And now I subtract the number I want to divide by, 610. I want to have a bell, so I have to watch for the nines. When I underflow, I have to see the nines there. Now it's underflowed, so I add it once, I move the position, and I start again. Oop, all the nines, I add it once, I move one position, and I start again. All the nines, I add once, move again, and start again subtracting. All the nines, I add once, move one position, subtract. All the nines are ready, so I add it and move. All the nines, add it once, move it, and start again. All the nines, add it once, move it, and start again. All the nines, add it once, move it, oh, I'm in the end. Okay, so the result is 1618-0327. And that's an approximation of the golden number. Well, that's about it. That's the way it works. Here, if I want, I can set the thousands the multiplier or whatever, the comma here. And even here, I can move these small little dots to whatever position I want to have some orientation on the result. And, okay, I won't do it um, square root. You can find it on... Uh, other videos I've made. It, it work, basically works the same, it's just a little more tricky with this one because you have no bell telling you when you underflow, but for the rest it works. I've done it a lot of times, it works fine. Reset everything. Here we go. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.